Hey guys, and welcome back in to our Prep Rewind and Look Ahead. And uh, Lindsay, I think going into this weekend, the big news right now uh, would be the weather. Yeah. All right, I mean, we are, as we're recording this right now, we only have one game that's been moved from Friday to Saturday to try to avoid some of the nastiness that's moving in here. But Thursday looks really rough, Friday looks bad. Uh, it's even going into Saturday now and possibly even Sunday. So uh, I, I think teams are doing a lot of wet ball drills mm -hmm. this week uh, to get ready for it. Uh, there'll be a lot of sloppy conditions. Uh, but we're going to have high school football, you know, rain or shine. It just might not be as pretty as it normally is. So um, looking back at last week, I think a couple of takeaways for me were Sequatchie County for a second straight week has a dramatic uh, victory uh, two weeks ago. Uh, they stop a two-point conversion to beat South Pittsburgh on the road. This past week at home, they beat uh, second-rate Marion County 13-10. Uh, to 10. Really, you know, Marion drove uh, in the red zone a couple times in the fourth quarter, came away with no points, a turnover, a turnover on down. So Sequatchie just finding ways to win big games there to move to 4-1, and one. so very impressive for those guys. Also, Red Bank <clears throat> just absolutely hammered Signal Mountain. Uh, they had 250 yards of offense by halftime. <laughs> And Josiah Featherstone, who's one of the better running backs in, in all of Hamilton County, finished with over 200 yards of total offense. So Red Bank looks like they are the real deal. And we'll find out a little bit about that this week as Red Bank hosts Cleveland, who has moved into the top five and 6A. So that's that's a big matchup for us, uh, rain or shine. That'll be a big matchup for us this weekend. What about in Georgia? A uh, big game in Georgia right now is Northwest Whitfield at Heritage. Um, that game actually may be moved to Saturday. They're talking about maybe 1230. <clears> but It'll, it'll depend. Uh, Heritage has a grass field, so um, it'll be messy if they try to play on it. Uh, Northwest is 5-0, and but four of their wins are against teams that still don't have a win. So we don't know exactly how good they are. They had a good win against Gilmer last week. Heritage will be a good test. Um, Gavin Knuckles will be, uh, will be the key for Northwest. He's a dual-threat quarterback. Uh, but the Generals have to, to, to win. They're going to have to <coughs> take care of the ball and tackle a little better. Uh, the other big game is uh, Chattooga at Gordon Lee, which weather shouldn't affect that one because all they're going to do is run the ball. Right. I mean, I think Chattooga has like 10 yards passing all year. I mean, I'd probably – Because Zayden Cook, why would you? Exactly. He's uh, yet to, been, to be held under 200 yards. Uh, so they're going against Gordon Lee, which is a pretty good run defense, but they have their own great run game, uh, Peyton Gross. Uh, that game could be a sports writer's dream. You know, two hours, you're out. Um, but it's big. The winner has a leg up on a 7A Division One playoff spot, and um, it'll be it'll be interesting. Well, we, we touched on already Red Bank and, and Cleveland as being a big game this week. Also, also in, in Tennessee, uh, Baylor goes to Brentwood Academy. Uh, that's another big <clears throat> uh, region matchup for you know Macaulay had a easier than expected time with, with BA last week. I don't expect Baylor to really have much trouble either, uh, but with weather conditions, you never know. And the fact that you know BA does have George McIntyre, so we'll see that Baylor defense getting after him and see what they can do. Also, Sunny Daisy at Hickson. This is basically a playoff elimination game for Hickson. They need to win this game to stay alive in the playoffs. Sunny Daisy right now is one of the more physical teams in our, our entire area. They're average, you know, last week they had 450 yards rushing, so uh, that, that's, a, that's a big game for Hickson there as well as Saturday Daisy for playoff positioning because they're pretty much assured they're going to make it. Uh, Boyd Buchanan, uh, one of the best teams in all of Division II, AA at CCS. Uh, that's a rivalry game. So we'll see you know, how Boyd handles uh, stepping up in competition a little bit from, from what they've seen so far. Uh, but that's it for this week, guys. Uh, if you see us out, we'll probably have a poncho. We're, we might even have to, oh my God, we might have to go up to the press box instead of standing on the sidelines to stay out of the rain. But anyway, we'll see you guys again next week.